For 45 years, this forestry products Mauni o Hakuni has provided hundreds of jobs and millions of dollars for the local economy, but today it's all over. Yeah, quite a sad day today for me. I, 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 it's sort of this last time you've seen some of the guys. Some of the guys have already left, so it's been yeah, kind of. You don't know when you're going to see some of these guys again. It's a, yeah, it's a bit of a sad day, really. Yeah, it's been a bit of a weird, uh, weird vibe, really. It's just yeah, it's been yeah, sort of like the end of an era. So it's before we got told the news of the proposal of the uh, the shutdown, it was sort of just a period to actually get some work done, which was yeah, it was good. There was quite a good positive mood there and then as soon as the proposal for the redundancy came out yeah it all sort of evaporated within about a week and then yeah it's sort of slowly decreased until we where we are today yeah last day on the job. I think in another couple of weeks will be the hardest for some people when you are no longer coming to work there is no work to come to and you know you, you do have to go and find something or somewhere to keep you occupied basically. A lot of guys have been coming here for a long time and uh, this was their life. Winstone Pulp International is closing down because of low pulp and timber prices and the soaring cost of wholesale power. It has two mill sites with 230 workers and for many of them it's been so much more than just a job. Yeah, it's strange, it's been yeah, first job out of school and done my apprenticeship here and learned a lot of good things so yeah it's definitely uh, yeah, somewhere that yeah, I hold very fond memories of so I sort of haven't really thought that it's my last day yet, it's just yeah, you sort of think you're always going to come here, so yeah, it's a bit of a strange feeling. How's this area going to cope without a huge employer like that? Oh, it's going to be catastrophic, it's kind of like an, a, a man-made disaster really. Um, what do you do if, if no one in Wellington wants to help? Um, we're just going to get on with it. Those who, who can stay are going to stay. Those who are forced to leave have to leave. And what that does to a community of, certainly in Tratahi and Ohakuni, um, you know, two and a half thousand people. I don't know. For the past two months, Winstone Pulp International has refused all of RNZ's requests for an interview. But despite the overseas owned company not wanting to front to the media, its workers say that the mill has been really good at communicating with them and has been very supportive through this tough time. WPI have been fantastic in their redundancies. They chose to give the best redundancy package to both sites, which our one up here was actually better than the one down at the sawmill. They've uh, paid out on that, which has been fantastic. Um, they've also then provided a lot of care afterwards. So we've had uh, the EAP services, the MSD, uh, we have had the Westpac Bank, IRD all come to site, talk to anyone, everyone for basically two weeks. Uh, job, se job seeking, it's um, been re really good. The company has gone basically above and beyond to um, make sure everyone was best they could be basically going forward.